so all right so this is another another section and then this section we're going to be placing a live trade following all the instruction we have done there is something else we i didn't tell you in the last video which is the stop loss and the take profit i'm going to be talking to us about it now so the stop loss and the take profit helps us make if you are taking profit if the market um if you are a busy person and you cannot be checking your trade you set the top stop loss and take profit so the, the market takes the profit for you automatically once you are in profit and then it also stop the loss for you if you're already in loss so that means in the beginning of the trade you will know what you are going to be losing if the market goes against you but it can be minimal so you can set it okay on this trade i don't want to lose more than one one dollar and then you want to make maybe like five dollar one thing about trading is that you have to know that trading is um it is losing is allowed it's part of the game so if you say you don't want to lose anything at all then that means you're not ready to make money it's not as if you are going to lose but at least you should be able to be aware of what you are going to be losing before going into the market it helps your subconscious mind and it also helps your 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 emotion also so that you can leave the trade and do other things i'm going to be teaching us how to set the stop loss and they take profit it's really really very good honestly believe me so um so now we are going to see the signal the signal comes like this let me show you how the signal will look like so this is how the signal will come this is the signal this is a particular signal like this now this is trading signal it said dodge usdt it said we should long this is the entry price it said um we should enter the market between 0 0.1152 to 0 0.116 100 then we should take profit we should set our take profit between 0 0.13200 to 0 0.14000 then we should set our stop loss at 0 0.10976 so this is it so we have just few assignments number one we do this number two this one number three we set this one number four this one number five so there are five things we are going to be doing five things and these are them here so once you see this a signal like this number one the signal has actually told you the kind of coin you are searching for which is dodge coin the signal also tell you what to do which is to long the trade to buy the the coin then the signal also give you an idea of the price to enter when to enter the market it gives you an entry price so what happened is that by the time you now maybe you are busy you didn't see the signal on time you now check the price and discover that ah it has gone so this price is saying telling you that we can buy between this price to this price between 0 0.11526 to 0 0.116100 so if you open your chart and you see that the price is still between that point you can buy but if it has gone beyond maybe you open your chart and you now see 0 0.117 100 or 0 0.117118 you know the price has gone far so you don't need to enter the market at this point then you set your take profit at, at 0 0.32 thousand or 0 0.4 thousand then your stop loss so this explanation of everything is here so let's go now to the market and set this instruction that they have given us so let's go uh, Remember the coin they asked us to buy is Dodge. Dodge coin. So this is where we are going to search the Dodge coin. We are on Sweet USDT now. So we search for Dodge coin. D O G. Dodge USDT. This is it. We click on it. So we have done that. Remember the second thing now we need to do is not stated there, but I've already told us before that we need to do that is to set this to isolated is to set this to isolated you see it has come back to 10x so you need to be very careful of this make sure it's on 3x since we are just starting and it's on isolated so we are going to set this it's not stated there but we do that some signal will come with it tell you what to do so we're putting it on isolated and we are moving this one to 3x this to 3x you click on save click on ok so so now we're going to use li uh, limit order 
we're going to now change this one to limit order because price has not gotten to the place they asked us to, to buy. See the price. The price here is 0 0.1016 and they asked us to buy at 0 0.11 something. So that means price has not gotten to that. But as many price has gotten to there, you don't need, you just use market order so that you enter the market immediately. But want to set the price ahead that when price gets to that point, it will buy on its own. So let's go and see how much they ask us. So firstly, before we go, we need to ch change this one to limit order. Instead of market order, we'll put it on limit order. So let's see the price. They said 0 0.1152 to 0 0.1162. So let's just do, so you have to not be the one to use your discretion at this entry price now to just put a particular in between. So now I'm going to be using 0 0.11526. That's what I will use. This price is what I want to use in this one. Zero point one one five two six. So this is where to add it here. Zero point one one five two six. So quantity of dodge based on what I have. So the quantity now. Let me do eighty. Eighty dodge. Let me do 100. Let me do 500. And remember, as I'm putting the price, as I'm putting the amount of dodge, it's showing me the price down here. And remember, this is my capital. You get so I'm using my capital to compare this so that is it watch it again if I put 350 now 350 dodge now this is 11,000 I mean 11 dollar 90 91 cent and I have 12 so I can leave it I can I'm good to go so I click on what is this the signal said we should do what we should long this is what the signal said. It said long. So that means we are buying. We are clicking on buying. Long is the same thing as buy. So we'll click on long. You click on confirm. So that is it now. Then the next thing we want to do now is to set our stop loss and take profit. You come here, this is it here. This is where we're going to set our stop loss and take profit. Remember, this is it here. At stop loss is this one down here. And then this is our take profit. So in the next video, we are going to set these two things, stop loss and take profit. So that um, I don't want the video to be too long. So that we can assimilate everything.